Hi, it's Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com. Uh, We're looking at a uh, test plot, cover crop test plot in central Indiana at Robison Farms in the Greenwood, Indiana area. And we're looking uh, here at a mixture, uh, an Invest mixture called Forager Mix. And Don, if I remember right, this is uh, cereal rye, oats, and turnips. What do you see here? And was this irrigated up, or is this just growth we got afterwards? No, this is uh, this is dry land, Dave. Uh, we put this plot in, simulated flying it on with uh, the spreaders going over the top of beans, and uh, this was completely dry land. We had no. I think we had uh, 1.1 inches of rain all last summer from July 1st on. And uh, after we put this in, we didn't get a, a drop of rain for, uh, I think, six weeks. So uh, whatever growth we've got here was probably from mid-October on. And uh, one of the things you know we see for sure in this is that we've got more weed pressure coming in areas where we had no cover crop, even if it was no-tilled. And in this field, we've got a few different things going on. We've got some places that were no-tilled, some places that were tilled, some places that were cover crop plots into the no-till. And uh, we, we don't have a tremendous amount of weed pressure anywhere, but there is a marked difference where the, uh, the uh, no-till or the tillage was versus where the cover crops are. Um, obviously, with that little amount of rain and we had some very hot temperatures, some of the uh, clover and some of the uh, radishes and turnips didn't do anything last fall. But uh, where we've got the oats, where we've got the annual rye, where it just took a little bit of moisture to get it going, uh, we see a big difference in the weed control. All right, it's pretty obvious here as we're uh, looking over here at some dandelions behind the corn there. And that was in some no-till situation. And, and again, you're going to have some dandelions occasionally, especially in a wet year like we've had this year. But here in the cereal rye and, and where the oats and turnips had been as well, uh, like Don said, very little growth on the oats and turnips last fall because very little moisture. But uh, the, where we have this, there's a very little weed pressure and a beautiful stand of corn. Again, Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com with Don Robison from Robison Farms.